The next step in the process is to machine the outer diameter of the armature to true it up. Now you're going to be just taking off a few thousandths of an inch, so don't think that if you're I'm sorry, at least on a dash arm, we're only going to be taking off a few thousandths of an inch, maybe two or three thousandths, just to polish it up. So don't get uh, the mistaken impression that uh, this is an absolutely crucial step on a dash arm. Uh, if you're doing a Aurora arm, though, those are all over the place, way out of true, and usually got to take a lot off to get them down. So that, that's a, this is a lot more important on an Aurora arm. But all that said, you know, every little bit counts, I suppose. So what I did is I set up a... I got my old Dremel tool, and I got this old Dremel drill press set up. Ignore the junk in the background there, please. Uh, that uh, It wasn't working very good, but I, I purposed it for this. And one night I just put this whole apparatus here together, um, which is just some wood blocks I just glued together with super glue, glued it onto this base, bolted this thing down to the base, you know, all just plywood and uh, regular old wood and everything. And, uh, made this U-bolt kind of thing here to clamp down this uh, comm checker. And I'm not using the comm checker part. This dial indicator doesn't do anything. I've backed it off so it doesn't touch the arm. I'm only using this piece of the uh, comm checker to uh, hold the armature in place. And then, of course, I've got a fine sanding drum here on the, uh, on the Dremel tool. It's a 240 grit. That's the fine drum. Try to get it running true if you can. I mean, these things are all over the damn map uh, on run out, but try to get it as true as you can on here so it doesn't wobble too badly. Um, and then uh, if you're doing more than one you know, or two, then you know you probably want to set up something like I did here. I got a old vacuum cleaner here that's stuck into the back, and it's an old, it's ancient, but I, I stuck up keep a filter in there so it'll suck out any kind of crud that I don't want in the atmosphere like uh, you know if it starts getting into the comm that's some pretty bad stuff you don't want to inhale so um, I recommend doing something like that if you're doing more than just a couple of these um, and uh, I guess what else is there uh, yeah, there's little adjustments here I stuck on here to, to move this thing around kind of like a lathe a little bit and then this these U clamps use these U bolts hold it down with nuts and it holds this thing tight so once you get it set, you can do a whole bunch of arms, I guess, really, and it doesn't uh, doesn't move much. You gotta adjust gradually as the drum wears in. Um, so that's kind of it. I, I put this little, I got this little um, cover here that I usually would put on here to help direct the suction air, but it kind of gets in the way of things here. So I'm, you know, to show things off. So I'm gonna leave that off for now, and I'm not gonna turn the uh, vacuum cleaner on for this step because I'm just gonna do one and show you how it uh, how it kind of works. So. Uh, let me set this up here. Hopefully I can get this into some sort of position where it's everything visible. Okay, you can see the business end there. So my uh, my armature here, oh, here it is. So I put a little 25 thou plastic spacer on here just to get things to take some of the slop out of the thing when it's in the armature lathe. So hopefully this is all be this will all be nice and clear. Are clear enough. So I'm going to put the uh, armature in comm side this way. Not that it really matters as long as you're cutting on the entire lamination OD you're in good shape. And I've already adjusted this so it'll it should machine a little off here. So make sure that's visible. Okay good so you can see everything and uh, off we go. So I'm going to turn it on. It's going to get a little loud. I'm just going to turn this thing. I'm going to keep going until all the lambs are shiny. Taking a fairly light cut. I'm not going crazy here with the cut. And if you got a really crappy old Dremel tool, you got to turn the speed down after a while. Forgot to put my glasses on, so I can't really tell what I got here. So, now I'm going to take the time to put my glasses on, and uh, everything looks good. Oh, let me get you in, get you in view here. Focused out on it. It's reasonably focused, I guess. So yeah, you can see I, I've cleaned off all the OD lambs, so there's no uh, unpolished area. That's all you want to do. I just took like two thousands off of this, probably. This one was pretty good. 
I've seen a couple other ones where you take a little more time, but uh, it doesn't take much. So anyway, that's it for the armature OD.